My name is Dalia. I'm from Iceland, but originally from Kurdistan. I speak four languages, and I want to help. My name is Denisa. I come from Czech Republic. I'm also Roma. I speak five languages, and I want to really help. I'm Iman. I come from Spain, originally from Morocco. I speak three languages, and I'm ready to help. My name is Laura. I'm from Ukraine and originally from Armenia. I speak four languages and I really want to make a change. My name is Pan. I am from Cyprus. I speak two languages and I really want to make an impact. This is a family that left Syria and has started a new life in Europe. There, they have settled, they have uh, uh, their new life, but they face challenges such as isolation, loneliness, and language barriers. We are all an example of Europe's peer students that are willing to help those refugees, but we don't know how. It is a fact, not a matter of opinion. In 2018, the number of people of concern to the U.S. Refugee Agency, such as refugees, returnees, stateless people, and internally displaced people, rose up to 70.8 million. In addition, according to Eurostat, the migrant population in Europe was 22.3 million in 2018. 58% of refugees and migrant population taking part in research described loneliness and isolation as one of their biggest challenges. <laughs> These barriers are particularly apparent when there is no one for a person to turn to, often having left their families, friends, and support networks in their country of origin. Other interconnected challenges are Lack of social networks, language barriers, loss of status, loss of identity, cultural differences, and discrimination. Improving access to language and helping them adjust in a new environment can help the refugees and immigrants build social relationships that help them recover from the hardships that they've been through. This is what we want to address. We want to make it easier for refugees and immigrants to settle and be adjusted into the society and also to be integrated into society. So we want to present you our organization. WeNet is a platform that brings the refugees and immigrants out of isolation by connecting them with volunteers who are really willing to help but don't have any access to resources. So we are going to create a website and an application. Through those, the volunteers will be able to create their profiles, which will contain information about their location, age, interests, uh, skills, language skills in particular, and with the help of social services, we are going to create profiles for refugees and immigrants, and we will explain to them how to uh, post their needs uh, on the website and on the application. Before becoming members of our um, platform, uh, both immigrants and volunteers will go through security checking to ensure that um, everything is safe but for both sides. After becoming the members of Queenet, uh, volunteers will be able to match their skills or their profiles with the needs of the refugees. Um, the, the needs may be um, a tour to town or help with translation, any, any other everyday need, and all these little things really help the refugees become a contributive member of the society. The same way as we are willing to help, there are many young people from Europe that are willing to help as well. In order to get real data, we conducted a survey of 66 participants, mainly from Europe. The results show that almost 70% of them are willing to help, but they don't know how. One of the main reasons is that they don't know how to reach NGOs. <coughs> On the other hand, almost 70% of them stated that they are willing to help if they could choose the time to be compatible with their busy schedule. So how are we going to monetize WeNet? WeNet is going to offer its services to expatriate employees and to their families who move abroad in order to work. There they face, they face also a lot of challenges and those are the main reasons that they turn back to their home really early. It's highly important to mention that 10 to 20 percent of employees that are sent abroad in order to work, they return back home really early because they can adjust in a foreign environment. So, as a result, companies face high costs and the performance of their employees is negatively affected. So, the professionals of our team is going to offer 
and um, service, our services to uh, employees and their families in order to adjust in a uh, foreign environment. And in exchange, we're going to charge those, uh, com those companies. So we're going to have revenues in order to reinvest in our, um, in our organization and we will ensure the stability of their employees. So we're going to offer the same services we offer to refugees, but we're going to offer them, offer them to employees and in change, we're going to have revenues. To start with, we want to focus in our own countries because they have uh, they get a um, significant number of uh, refugees and immigrants, as you can see from the graph. And we want to focus also to, of, to Germany because it's one of the top uh, refugee hosting countries, and this is the country that we want to focus in order to scale up. Also, in addition, uh, Germany is one of the top hosted countries that uh, accept uh, expatriate employees. So our main expenses are to maintain and create the website and the app, then to check background of volunteers and refugees. Also we need money for training for volunteers, then salary for the team. We would like to partnership with refugee agency and Red Cross to promote our website and the app. We also would like to collaborate with other NGOs such as Chattanooga Bridge, uh, that offers similar of, uh, services. And our main source of funding will be the ads in the app and of course fundraising and donations. Finally, what makes us special? WeNet is a new way of approaching people and connecting them in the humanitarian field. Uh, our competitive advantage is that we introduce an innovative and easy way of volunteering without the need to be committed, which is dynamic, flexible and practical that offers direct response focusing on the psychological, social and emotional well-being of refugees and immigrants in our countries. Let's make this their new home. Let's make them know they are welcome. Let's help them live comfortably. Let's help them adjust. Let's connect. Thank you.